Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we are going to learn regular expression and how to use it in our automation project on Automation Anywhere A360. A regular expression is a sequence of characters that defines a search pattern. It can include letters, digits, special characters, and meta-characters, which have special meanings. Regular expressions can be used in various programming languages and text editors. To begin, let's talk about character classes. In regular expressions, square brackets are used to define a character class, which represents a set of characters that can match a particular position in a string. Let's take a look at some examples. The expression ABC means that we're looking for a match with either the character of B or C. So, if we have a string containing any of these characters, it will be considered a match. Conversely, when we use the caret symbol, caret, within the square brackets, as in, caret ABC, it means we want to match any character that is not a, B, or C. This is a powerful way to exclude specific characters from a match. Next up, we have the hyphen inside the square brackets. When used between two characters, like, AZ, it represents a range. So, AZ means any lowercase letter from a to Z. Similarly, AZ represents any uppercase letter from a to Z. It's important to note that regular expressions are case-sensitive by default. What if we want to match both lowercase and uppercase letters? We can use a combination of character classes. The expression AZ covers both ranges, allowing us to match any letter from a to Z or a to Z. Moving on, we have the character class 0 to 9. This range represents any digit from 0 to 9. If you're looking for numerical values within a string, this expression can come in handy. Finally, we have the escape character, denoted by the backslash. It's used to include special characters like hyphens or plus signs within the regular expression. By escaping these characters, we ensure they are treated as literal characters and not as part of the regular expression syntax. Quantifiers are symbols that follow a character or a group in a regular expression, allowing us to define the number of occurrences. Here are some common quantifiers you should know. The asterisk symbol is known as the zero or more quantifier. When we use it after a character or a group, it means that the preceding item can occur zero or more times. So, if we're looking for matches that can repeat any number of times, this quantifier comes in handy. Now, let's move on to the plus symbol. When we use it after a character or a group, like range plus, it means that the preceding item must occur at least once, but it can repeat any number of times. In other words, it represents one or more occurrences. Next, we have the question mark symbol, which indicates zero or one occurrence. When we add it after a character or a group, it means that the preceding item is optional, it can occur either once or not at all. Moving on, we have the curly braces. They allow us to specify an exact number of occurrences. For example, N represents exactly N occurrences of the preceding item. So, if we need a match with a specific number of repetitions, this quantifier is what we're looking for. But what if we want N occurrences or more? That's where N comes into play. The comma after N means we want N or more occurrences of the preceding item. This is useful when we have a minimum requirement for matches. Finally, the last quantifier we'll discuss today is NEM. It allows us to specify a range of occurrences between N and M. So, if we want matches that fall within a certain range, this quantifier will do the job. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to remind you of something very important. If you're finding this video helpful and informative, I would greatly appreciate your support. Please hit the like button and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos, ensuring that you never miss out on any valuable content. Now let us look at some example for better understanding. Our goal is to extract mobile number that starts with the digit 5 from a paragraph. The paragraph may contain random digit numbers and mobile numbers starting with different digits. I am going to use regex101.com to create regular expression. It's easy to use and also generates explanation for the expression we create. There is also a quick reference tab which we can refer for help. I have added a few test mobile numbers below so that we can test our regular expression. Backslash plus, 
this matches the literal plus sign. The backslash is used as an escape character to include the plus sign in the regular expression. 91, this matches the literal characters 9 and 1. Plus, this matches one or more occurrences of the preceding character or group. Here, it means that we can have one or more occurrences of the characters 9 or 1. Backslash dash, this matches the literal hyphen. The backslash is used as an escape character. 1. This quantifier specifies that the preceding character or group must occur exactly one time. Here, it means we are expecting exactly one hyphen. 5. This matches the literal digit 5. Plus, here, it means that we can have one or more occurrences of the digit 5. 0 to 9, this matches any digit from 0 to 9. 9. This quantifier specifies that the preceding character or group must occur exactly 9 times. Here, it means we are expecting exactly 9 digits. As you can see below, number matching our pattern are highlighted. Now let's go to Automation Anywhere and test our regex query. We can use regex with two actions in string package. Find action and replace action. For this example, I am going to use find action. I have already created a string variable with our problem statement paragraph. I will directly specify that variable in source string section. Select a regular expression radio button below. Add regex which we have created in the find string box. Find action returns position of the characters provided within the string. It requires number type variable, I am going to use sample number variable. Let's test it first by adding a message box to print sample number value. It's working as expected, now our next step will be to extract mobile number. To achieve that I will add substring command. We know that mobile number is 10 digit number and including country code, plus symbol and hyphen the total length will be 14. In substring command, add source string and in start from section add the number variable that we got from find action, in my case sample number. As I mentioned earlier the length will be fixed with 14 characters. Store the output in string variable. Let's add message box to print output. Before I run it, I have to rectify a mistake in substring command. Source string will be the variable containing paragraph. Our bot ran successfully and has extracted correct number. In our next example, our goal is to identify and mask email address that can be anywhere within a paragraph. For simplicity, we will assume that email addresses may contain only a few commonly used special characters. Our first character class matches any uppercase letter, az, lowercase letter, az, digit, 0 to 9, underscore, hyphen, or dot, character. Backslash is used as an escape character to add hyphen and dot. Plus, this quantifier matches one or more occurrences of the preceding character or character class. Here, it means that we expect one or more occurrences of the characters defined in the preceding character class. At, 1, this matches the literal at symbol, at. The square brackets are used to define a character class, and the curly braces, with the number 1 specify that we expect exactly one occurrence of the preceding character or character class. A to Z, upper, A to Z, lower, plus, this character class matches any uppercase letter, AZ, or lowercase letter, AZ, followed by plus quantifier to specify that we expect one or more occurrences of the characters. Backslash dot. 1. This matches the literal dot symbol. 
The square brackets are used to define a character class and the curly braces with the number one specify that we expect exactly one occurrence of the preceding character or character class. AZ, 2, 3, this character class matches any lowercase letter, AZ. The curly braces with the numbers 2 and 3 specify that we expect two or three occurrences of the preceding character or character class. We can now use this expression in automation anywhere to mask email address using replace action. In replace action, provide string variable which contains our problem statement paragraph in source string section. I have already created a string variable with default value. Select a regular expression radio button below. Add regex which we have created in the find string box. In replace section, I will add capital X's to mask the email ID. Assign output to string variable to store result. Let's add a message box and run the bot. Our bot ran successfully and has masked the email address present in the paragraph. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Please hit the like button and leave a comment.